Steve D. Well, I'm getting a lot of questions about the ice jigs and today we're going to be fishing them a little bit more. So here I have in my tackle box the four go-to colours that I use. Uh, in South East Queensland, I like the red and black. That seems to uh, do very, very well, catch a lot of fish. Um, it, then you've got the natural uh, white and green, which is another popular uh, fish producer. The purple with yellow is pretty good too. And then this another combination of uh, a bright green with a white. So they would be the ones that I would start with, guys. Hope you can see them there. And uh, what you want to do is drop them down and hop them three times. That'll complete a full circle. So we're going to fish with these a bit today and we're going to try to show you how they work. Okay guys, um, I use the bait casters for your ice jigging uh, because it gives you direct contact with the bottom. And what you want to do is when you click the thumb bar, you want that lure to fall slowly. Um, and if it crashes down, you've got to tighten this uh, knob up here, the anti-friction control knob. Um, if it sits up the top, you back it off. So you want it to fall slowly. So when you press the thumb bar down on the bait caster, that um, it falls slowly. So we're just going to drop it down here. Taking it on the hop, right off the bottom, guys. You want these ice jigs right on the bottom. Yay! Nice little bass on the white and green, very natural colour. So we're just going to release this, guys. And um, yeah, so that's how you work it off the bottom, jig it until they smack it put it right in their face. Another little trick I like using is to spray it with garlic scent. That brings the fish to you as well. Now I haven't sprayed this one yet, but I'm going to. I'll just have a look where he's hooked here. That centre wide gate hook has really done its job. It's uh, Once they set, uh, it pretty much stays in there really well. So um, yeah, I like using those ones. They're really, really good. Yeah, so just a little, little tacker going back to grow it bigger. Okay, so another little trick I use uh, with these ice jigs, the first hook, uh, squash that barb right down. So if you do happen to get it in your finger, it comes straight out. Um, a few months ago, I, I did a very rookie mistake and I wore this ice jig in my thumb and had to go to the doctor. So um, that's, well, for that reason, I squashed the front barb down but leave the barbs on the other one. Okay, garlic scent. High concentrated garlic scent. I spray this on all my lures. Brings the fish to you. Absolutely stinks. The big bass love this, they go nuts on it. So put garlic scent on all lures, guys. these bait casters I just uh, click that thumb bar and I put it right on the bottom as soon as it hit the bottom uh, hook up now again it's only only a little fella we need to buy in their uh, the grand the grandparents but uh, that's a start fish is a fish guys and that's how easy it is to use the ice jigs guys a lot of fun all right folks we're finally 
hooks up on the ice jig again. Matter of keeping it in the bait. Hopefully it's not a dirty old catfish. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah, there you go, folks. Hit the uh, the green and white. A lot of fun these ice jigs if you persist and keep at it. Keep it in that bait. Fishman Steve D. Till next time. God bless.